Wondering how many people add items to their shopping cart on your site and then leave before they check out? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Analytics e-commerce tracking to optimize the checkout process, reduce abandonment, and boost your revenue. So let's get started. Shopping cart abandonment is when customers add products to an online cart, but then they fail to complete the purchase. Now, overcoming that issue can be a huge challenge for e-commerce retailers. According to Optin Monster, cart abandonment varies across different devices. On desktops and laptops, the abandonment rate is somewhere around 67%, while on mobile, it's about 78 Now, the majority of people abandon carts because of unexpected costs like shipping and taxes, and a large portion of them abandon the cart because there's no guest checkout option. By tracking cart abandonment, you can understand your customer's behavior. You can see how people are navigating your online store and where they're leaving the checkout process. You can correct errors in the process. For an example, a high cart abandonment rate might just be due to a payment option not working. And you can measure changes on your website. So if you've made changes to the page design, then you can track the cart abandonment rate. And that way you can determine if that change was an improvement or not. Plus, you can optimize your sales funnel so you can look at your sales funnels and see which paths are leading to high cart abandonment and then fix those issues like optimizing your marketing message or promoting to a different audience. Now, the easiest way to track cart abandonment on your site is using Monster Insights. It's the best Google Analytics WordPress plugin that helps you track user behavior such as cart abandonment without having to touch a single line of code. Monster Insights allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics, both Universal Analytics and GA4, so you can view the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. And with just a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features such as event tracking and e-commerce tracking. Plus, you can easily track forms, custom dimensions, outbound links, media, and lots of other things that Google Analytics does not track right out of the box. To get started, you'll need to install Monster Insights. Be sure to choose the license level that has all of the features that you're going to need, or you can just get started with our light version from the WordPress repository. Now, for this tutorial, I'll be using Monster Insights Pro. So first, you'll need to head over to the Monster Insights pricing page and select Monster Insights Pro. Once you're all signed up, just go to your account area and then head over to the Download tab. Now, you'll need to download the zip file of the plugin to your computer. Next, you'll need to log into your WordPress site and then on the admin sidebar, click Plugins and then select Add New. Then click the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page. Now you can either click Choose File or you can just drag and drop the zip file here and then click Install Now. Now, once that's done, just activate the Monster Insights plugin. All right, now you'll need to connect Google Analytics 4 or Universal Analytics or both to your site. Don't worry, just follow the steps in the setup wizard and the plugin will automatically add Google Analytics to your site without needing to edit any code. If you'd like more details, just be sure to check out the link in the description to our guide on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress. Now, once you've installed, activated, and connected Monster Insights to Google Analytics, it's easy to install the e-commerce add-on. Just go to your admin sidebar, then go to Insights. Now click on Add-ons. Next, find the e-commerce add-on and click Install. To see the data right on your WordPress dashboard, just navigate to Insights, then Reports, and then click on the e-commerce tab. Now you'll see the conversion rate, the number of transactions, the revenue that you've generated, and the average order value. Just under that, you'll see the top product section, and you can see the quantity that you've sold, the percentage of sales, and the total revenue. Scrolling down, you'll see your top conversion sources. Now, at the bottom of the page, you'll see your total add to carts, total remove from cart, and abandoned checkout percentage. If you're using GA4, just select the Explore tab from the left sidebar. Once the exploration screen loads, just click on the blank template to create an exploration. Next, type in a name for your custom exploration. We're going to call ours Abandoned Carts. Then on the Technique dropdown, select Funnel Exploration. Next, you'll need to create a list of steps that represent the checkout process. So to do that, just click the pencil icon next to the Steps item. Now type in a name for your first step. We'll call it 
Add Item to Cart. Next, click on Add New Condition and choose Events and Add to Cart. Now, this is going to show you the number of website visitors that add an item to their online shopping cart. Now, keep in mind that your checkout process might be a little bit different than ours. Now, we're going to add a few more details. So, click the Add Step button. Now, we'll name the second step View Cart. Then, click on Add New Condition, then Event, and choose View Cart. Next, click Add Step again, and we're going to name this step Complete Purchase. And click on the Add New Condition, then Event, and select Purchase. Now, we'll just click the Apply button to immediately see the data on the chart. Now you're going to see the steps that the customers took. So in the last column, you're going to see the percentage of visitors who didn't move on to complete the next step. You'll see the percentage of people who added items to their cart and then left the site before viewing the cart and the percentage of people who actually looked at their shopping cart but did not purchase the item. Now using that data, you can experiment with the checkout process and payment options. Now to find your cart abandonment rate in Universal Analytics, just go to your analytics account and then navigate to conversions, and then to e-commerce, and finally to shopping behavior. This report allows you to see the number of cart abandonments at each stage, so you can plug the gaps in your checkout process by doing some experiments with your site, like improving the product descriptions, simplifying the checkout process, and adding an exit intent pop-up to reduce cart abandonment, and that will boost your revenue. So there you have it, just a few steps. Now you know how to track shopping cart abandonment with Google Analytics. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.